Here's what's making news now around Indiana. Brought to you by Chapman Heating, Air Conditioning and Plumbing. The man for all seasons, Chapman. ChapmanHeating.com. Well, an industrial baking company in Fort Wayne is under new ownership. Michigan-based private equity firm Blackford Capital says it has sold Ellison Bakery to Tilia Holdings in Chicago, though financial terms not disclosed. The 75-year-old bakery produces cookies and snacks for the industrial market, food service industry, and retail and private label customers. The sale comes just three years after Blackford Capital acquired the bakery. Well, earlier this week, Indiana Landmarks released its 2020 10 Most Endangered list. Built before the Civil War, downtown Attica is a National Register listed streetscape in danger of disappearing. Around Indiana, reporter Mary Rachel Redmond has more from Fountain County. In the 1800s, when they planned Attica, someone had the, the foresight to go ahead and build our downtown. Uh, along the Wabash River. We're all tied in together. We all have this unique fiber, we have this character, we have that small town look that people love so much. And residents and business owners want to try to save that. As the only downtown listed two years in a row on the state's 10 most endangered list, Indiana Landmarks is hoping they can do just that. Attica, as a community, is so fortunate to have so much historic fabric. The historic downtown, such a unique part to the community. Placing it on our 10 most, we hope that it would start to draw attention to it, make people aware of it. But it won't be easy, especially for a downtown whose peak spanned from 1845 to the early 1940s. Population shifts to bigger cities and the advent of the automobile slowly chipped away at Attica's historic downtown Perry Street. Now the clock is ticking in 2020 to save the beloved 175-year-old Indiana town. So it has a tremendous history for Indiana, tremendous history on the Wabash, and it's part of our heritage. It's part of what makes us special. It's part of what makes it uh, powerful for future generations. So if we lose that, then we just become another city. I, I haven't seen the attention that we need yet because we financially we need so much to get done uh, on the facades and we have buildings that are coming down, especially the old hotel. There's a lot of people that do want to get it taken care of, and, but then there's neighbors that are upset because there's bricks falling off of it. If these bricks could talk, oh, the stories they tell. Behind me is the historic downtown Attica Hotel that was built in 1853, and as you can see, it's clearly in need of major repairs, but will they get done before it's too late? Well, the hotel goes way back to back when Betty Davis and uh, Al Capone supposedly ate there. There was all kinds of a history. Big Crosby ate there. Uh, it's just had such a history through the years that, you know, it's something we really would like to save if we could save it. Uh, unfortunately, in 2012, uh, the rear facade of the North Wing collapsed. Uh, it, is, it has been unrepaired since then. And recently, earlier this year, uh, upper corner on the original structure collapsed. So condition of the building is a great concern. My fear is if we don't get some investment in the landmarks and the older buildings, they'll be gone fairly soon. And during these uncertain times, Kleckner believes restoring the heart of downtown Attica will help save a community looking to evoke its once vibrant self. Uh, these buildings have survived uh, crises in the past. Uh, we've survived those. The community has survived. So I think the downtown sort of evokes that sense of continuity. The city of Attica is not down and out. We've got several successful factories. We have a tremendous tourism industry. Uh, we have something to build on. Mary Rachel Redman, Inside Indiana Business.